Hi, this is sixth in a series of tutorials about building a simple experiment in Pebble. And as you recall, we are building an experiment to determine, to ask people whether something is an odd or an even number. And so we're going to look at tutorial six, hyphen trials. I'm going to open it with this button. And in the previous experiment, we wrote a function to determine whether a number was even or odd. And that's it right here. And so if you want to know whether it's even or odd, you can see if you you can judge that from the number. So the number is the number given, and I can make a variable called odd. It's either going to be one or zero. And um, then to see if it's correct, I can use logical um, terms. And, or, and not are all terms that Pebble knows that you can put together to do something like this. So I can say if odd means if odds is equal to 1 and response is equal to L shift, well then it's true if, th if that's the case. But if not odd, that means if um, odd is equal to 0, then not odd will be true and response is equal to right shift. Okay, so in both of, in either of those cases, if they're true, you will get a correct value of 1. If either of these cases are not true, you'll get um, a correct value of zero, and so that correctly scores the um, the trial. I'm going to return the correct value. That, so now we return, and I'm also going to return odd, and that might be handy to have. So I'm going to return number odd response correct and RT, um, all from trial. And now um, to try to create an experiment, and we're actually getting pretty close to having a complete experiment here. I'm going to say trial 3, I'm going to return the value out, and then I'm going to print out. And then 4, I'm going to print out, and then out is equal to trial 1000, I'm going to print out again. So all of each of those print statements should appear in the debug messages at the end. And that's going to be very similar to the data uh, output that I'm eventually going to do for this experiment. So if I run this, Okay, let's try to make a mistake. I'm going to call this even. It doesn't detect this and tell me anything. It just keeps going. So I'm going to call this even. And see, so I said even each time. And here we can see that 3, I used the right shift, calling it even. And that was incorrect. It took 2374 milliseconds. 4, this really was not even. That's what that's. As I use a right shift, I happen to be correct, and it took 59.80. 1,000, it was um, not odd, zero. I hit the right shift button, and it was correct, and it took 1,640 milliseconds. All right, so that is um, basically how I'm embedding scoring into, uh, into the trials. And I'm going to try to return all the interesting stuff that I collect within that trials function so that I can have it access to it in the main start function and um, maybe then be able to print it out here or print it to a file or even do some analytics on it, some analytics and report them at the end of the, of the experiment. All right, so that's it for uh, the sixth episode of this tutorial. And next we'll start thinking about how do we um, create a design for an experiment that includes a bunch of numbers that I want to use in my um, in my experiment.